Well, greetings and salutations there, folks. The gelada is often referred to as gelada baboon, or the bleeding heart baboon. But it's actually not a true baboon. These brown and grey primates are old world monkeys that do bear some similarities to baboons, but they're a genus of their own, and the last members of a species of grass grazing primates. The males are twice the size of the females, and the males can be as big as large dogs, and are equipped with vampiric canines, which they often bear to each other to the, in a display of dominance or aggression. Both sexes have large fluffy manes, as well as distinct hourglass-shaped bald patches of skins on their chests. The gelada baboon is endemic to the Ethiopian highlands, with large populations found in the Simeon Mountains. They are restricted to high grasslands and deep gorges of the central Ethiopian plateau. There is an estimate of 200,000 of these guys in the wild. These primates are not carnivores, they're more omnivores, specifically gramivores, in other words, grass eating. They primarily eat leaves of grasses, although they will, if the opportunity arises, eat fruits, invertebrates, and even cereal crops. They sit in large groups, and are the only primate that does this. When you are watching this video, you will see some of the females and young geladas eating Brussels sprouts, which I found out they love eating. Their small, powerful fingers are designed for pulling grass, and while small incisors allow them to chew it. When eating, the geladas move with a characteristically shuffle gait. When walking, they use all of their four limbs to slide their feet without changing their body posture, so their bright red patch on their chest is conspicuous, whereby the rump remains hidden. The geladas live in a multi-level society. Since they spend most of the time on the ground foraging and eating grass, they don't spend much of the time grooming, so they are very vocal. Let's listen. Their society is made up of units, the smallest of which is a family unit. A unit is made up of one or more males and two to ten females and their offspring. There is only one alpha male, and he is the ruler of his family unit, but he is eventually replaced by a younger rival. The fights during these replacements can be vicious, and a strict dominance hierarchy exists, among the females in the family unit as well. Sometimes in the wild, geladas will form large herds of up to 1,200 individuals. These are some of the largest groups observed among any primate, bar humans. Geladas can form such large groups because they feed mostly in grass and which is widely available. Females give birth to one baby at a time every two years. The females are the sole caretakers of a new infant, while females are sexually mature between 4 to 5, and males don't attain the sexual maturity until between 5 and 7 years of age. The patches of skin on gelada's chest is indicative to the individual's hormone level. The male patches turn bright red in their sexual prime, while the female's chest patches blister during estrich. This has earned the monkeys the nickname the Bleeding Heart Baboons. The lifespan of these primates is about 15 to 20 years in the wild, while they can live past 30 years in captivity. The lifespan of these primates is about 15 to 20 years in the wild, while they can live past 30 years in captivity. And according to the IUCN, the gelada baboon is of least concern. Folks, if you like this video, you might like Google's next recommendation on the Western chimpanzee, the most critically endangered primate. See you in the next one, guys. Thanks very much for watching. Bye for now. Stay safe.